Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. And this one we're gonna talk. In this one, we're gonna talk about three things that just don't make sense to me after living in Sweden about the United States. And uh, we'll get into it. Number one here, we have to talk about student loans and our attitudes around student loans because in Sweden they do have student loans, but a lot of university is publicly funded. And where people get student loans from is like for their housing costs and the fact that they're usually not working while they're going to university. Uh, and it's about, I don't know, $100 to maybe $150 a month payment that Swedes need to make for like 50 years or something like that. Like they can stretch it out for such a long time that it doesn't become this big monthly bill. Where in the United States, it's not strange to be paying $450, $500, maybe $800 a month on your university. And a lot of students get maybe $100,000 in debt if they get a really, really big job. Like if you want to be a doctor, it's not strange to be $250,000 in debt. And so Biden has just trying to pass through this student loan forgiveness. It's going to blanketly forgive $10,000 in student loans. And if you've got a Pell Grant, it's going to try to forgive it up to $20,000. Now, I'm sure this is going to be fighted in the court systems. Now, even though I talked about the Swedish system, what doesn't make sense in the States is they just talked about the student loan forgiveness. And I've seen so many people post on social media like, what about the people that paid their student loans? Which to me, after living in Europe, doesn't make a whole lot of sense because you're just saying that you're unhappy that other people are getting help and you didn't get help that you no longer need. Which to me, I feel like if you paid off your student loans, you would also feel like, wow, that was really tough. I'm happy that other people can get help. But this thought process of it doesn't benefit me, so it's not a good thing, doesn't make sense. Because I don't understand how we can't understand how when every, one person does better, we all do better. Like if people that need help get help, then we do better as a society as a whole. And we have to stop with this individualism of it doesn't help me, wah, 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 wah. I think that that's a bad way to look at it because we need people to go to university. We need people to become teachers. We need people to become doctors. Now, one thing that maybe the United States can do, which I would agree with, is maybe certain professions that are needed. For example, uh, there's, a, there's a teaching shortage in the United States. Well, what if you forgive people that become teachers uh, student loans? But overall, I do think that we need to get a control of the college situation. And I think Americans need to shift their attitude towards student loans because it is such a big hurdle. You're unable to buy a home in a lot of cases, get a car. You just get bogged down by debt and there's nothing good about it. The number two thing that doesn't make sense about America is how we embrace always like doing a lot. Uh, but because we don't have universal health care, that's such an American thing. So I'll give an example, like we eat to an excess, we we drink to an excess, consume, consume. We use probably the most prescription drugs than any other country. You know, you go to a doctor and you want to get that medication right away. But when it comes to maybe living healthy, maybe getting enough sleep, maybe having a healthy work balance, work life balance, a lot of Americans, we don't have that. And because healthcare is not publicly funded, it doesn't matter that people just do whatever they want. Where what I've seen in like uh, European systems where because healthcare is publicly funded, I kind of feel pe like people are ashamed a little bit more. Like I don't want to say shamed, like you shouldn't be shamed if you're uh, overweight or based on the way you look. So please don't take it that way. But what I mean is shamed if you're not living a healthy lifestyle, style, if you're not making good decisions, everybody else that's paying into the system has to pay for you. So I'll give an example. If you're smoking cigarettes all the time, that might be looked down in the society. If you're not eating healthy, that might be let down in the society. Where in America, we don't have that mentality a lot of times. I'm not saying that, again, we should judge people. For, but simply put, um, maybe we don't sell like gigantic drinks in the store for people uh, because if basically if the U.S. government had to pay for medication and they had to pay for people's health care, they would make all these changes to make people more healthy and people would probably be happier if they were healthy at the same time. Make no mistake, if the United States government was paying for insulin, for example, it would drop dramatically. Uh, so yes, um, I think that we need to have a better collective mentality of each other, uh, our overall health. And I think that COVID showed that because we had such high numbers of death because we have a lot of people in the country that are out of shape. Of course, also COVID is dangerous and everybody should get vaccinated or should have got vaccinated at the time. But at the same time, uh, we need to live healthier lifestyles and we just simply don't do it. And we live in a society where the car is just, everybody uses the car constantly and you're not getting around and you're not walking a lot. So those are things that don't make sense to me now in the United States. We need to up our health systems in the US. The number three thing that doesn't make sense in the United States is how so many things are still done by paperwork. When I talk about the IRS, it just feels like when it comes to paying taxes, doing anything government related wise, 
we're still shifting from paper to electric. And it's like 2022, like doing things online, doing things on the internet. It is still slow. It is still so much like paper signing documents that it's just getting old and old. So hopefully the IRS is going to change this because they are talking about offering this because paying taxes in the States is a complicated process where a lot of people actually have to spend money and hire someone privately uh, to just help them with their taxes when they could just make it easy and do it online. Or there's companies like H&R Block where they sell these computer programs that people buy to be able to pay for their taxes when in reality... The IRS, the taxes we pay, should just offer us something like this online for free. That doesn't make sense. We need to move up in technology. And part of the reason I think we haven't moved up in technology is because we have a bunch of dinosaurs in Congress. Uh, a lot of people in leadership in the United States are way too old. We got 80-year-old 80 80 year people running the government. So no wonder things are still on paper. We need to move to electronic. I think it'll save us costs. Uh, it'll cut down on a lot of waste. And it'll get things done smoother and quicker for everybody. We, we can we can help each other out more if we can move a lot more things electronic. And that's not going to happen as long as we have very old people running everything in the government. So I'm hoping for term limits. So yes, I, I guess I bounced around in this video just a little bit. But uh, yeah, it was interesting. Uh, this is my feeling on this. Uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey,